What is up guys, James here back again with another video. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom pages with Next Auth. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of people have watched my Next Auth crash course and have been asking, how do I make cool custom login pages instead of the generic one that is offered by Next Auth? So if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna put it up on screen right now. Go ahead, watch the crash course and come back because I won't be covering how to use NextAuth, just how to make custom pages. If that sounds like something you wanna to learn today, let's get into it. So here we are in the original NextAuth crash course code. Now, if you're not familiar with NextAuth, you should go and check that out first before trying to make a custom page, but here we are. So inside of the NextAuth API, where we set all of our providers and options, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna add one more piece here, and that's just going to be the pages. And because we're only trying the sign-in one today, there are other options such as the sign-out page, you can do a custom one of those. You can also do custom ones for uh, new users and many more, which you should be able to check out in the documentation below. So to add a new page, you're just gonna do pages and then choose the page that you want. So we want sign in. And for this, we'll just make a sign in page in the root of our pages called sign in. At this point, we're actually ready to create our page and there's no more real work that we need to do in any of our uh, providers or in our environments or anything like that. So go ahead and in your pages here, create a new file and call it sign in .js. And at this point, we can start adding whatever we need. So I'm gonna import React from React. And then we're going to import all the important things that we need from Next Auth. Now, bearing in mind, I am gonna use Shakri UI just to give this a UI that you can see and it looks reasonably okay. But I'm gonna go through the basics of what is required for Next Auth so that you understand exactly what you need if you wanna use Tailwind or if you wanna use uh, theme UI or just straight CSS. So now we need to import the providers. We need to import the sign in, get session, and CSRF token. And those are all coming from next auth. So now we have that. We're going to create our export default function ready for our page. I'm going to call this sign in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in two properties here. So we're gonna pass in the providers and we're also gonna pass in the CFR token. And then inside of here is where we'll do our return. And for now, we'll just return a div. So we actually need to grab some initial props here before we can actually handle this sign in page. So what we can do is create a sign in dot get initial props. And this asynchronous function is going to make a call using context. And what we can do here, because I want to do this uh, right as we load the page, we're going to take the request and response equals context. And what we're going to do is see if there is a session here. And if there is a session, we're gonna redirect the, the, the user away from the sign-in page. Because if we don't do this, they'll be able to continuously try and sign in, even if they already have a session and they're already signed in. So we can do a session here and say await, get session, and then pass in the request. And just like that, we now have the ability to uh, handle if they are already logged in. So then what we can do is say, before we go and try and put any providers in here or return a CS, CSRF token, we can say if the session and response and session.access token, we can then inside of here do a response and do write head 302 set the location back to the home page. 
then at that point we can just do response.end and then we can return. And essentially what's happening here, it's saying if there is a session and response and there's an access token for this session, we should just redirect them back to the home page because they're already signed in and they don't need to be on this page. Then inside of here, we can do a return. And this also, by the way, works when you redirect to OAuth and come back. If you don't have this piece of code, what will happen is you'll stay on the sign in page. So then we can just return session and we'll set that to undefined. Then we can set the providers. And the providers are just going to await providers context. So basically what we're going to do here is grab all the providers that we're passing in here. So Twitter, email, and GitHub. And then finally, we need this CSRF token. And we can do the same thing by doing CSRF token and context. Now, if you're not doing email sign-in at all, so if you're not interested in email sign-in, you can actually get rid of this and remove it completely. So this part is for email sign-in only. So if you don't need that, get rid of it, and then you can just do all of your providers. So now we have that, we're actually ready to pass these props in here and then use them as we see fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically set this up for uh, Shakri UI and also talk about how this works. So first I'm just gonna add a container and then we'll add a header here or a heading, should I say, as a H1. And that H1 is just gonna be in the center and we'll set the heading itself to welcome to our custom page. So we just do welcome to our custom page. Then inside of this container, we're gonna have a box here and the box is gonna hold essentially our email form and also our providers. So we're just gonna set this to the center of the screen so it's right in the middle, just so it's easier for us to show uh, for this tutorial. And then we can talk about how to do both the email form and also the providers. Okay, so inside of here, we're going to do a, another box, which is just a div, and this is gonna contain our, our email form. So we'll give it a class name in case you want to make any modifications and it's easier for you to follow. So this email form is obviously gonna be a form. The method is going to be post. And what we're going to do is we're going to make an action here and the action is going to be to API slash auth sign in slash email. Now this is the same post method that they use at next auth. So essentially we're just making a call to that action. So all we need here is the input. So first we're going to do an input here and we're going to call this input name CSRF token. So the token that we had originally, we're gonna set the type to hidden and then we're just gonna have the default value set to CSRF token that we're passing in from the props. So this is required and we, we need to submit this so that they can verify that we're actually having a legitimate sign up. Then we just need a label here and the label will be email address. And then inside of here, we will do our input type. So we can just do input type equal to text and we'll set the ID equal to email so that we can grab the email and we'll also set the name to email as well. Then outside of that label, we'll have a button here and the button is just gonna be a submit type. So submit and then we'll just set it to use your email. So at this point, we are sort of ready to, to handle everything here. And now we need to iterate over 
because the email is literally only one type, right? So unlike the providers, you could have a hundred. Um, so what we need to do is iterate over our object and handle it that way. So what we'll do is we'll create a stack here that says inline so that they're uh, all in a row because we've only got two here. And we'll just set a margin at the top of 12 so it pushes it away from the email form. So now what we're going to do is going to do an object.values and we're going to send in providers, which is what we're sending in here. And we're going to say dot map. And then we're going to do a provider. So we'll just do provider. And then inside of here is where we're going to do an if statement. And the reason is, is because technically email is a provider. So if we didn't return um, nothing, if it is email, what would happen is we'd have another button that said sign in with email, which we don't need because we're already handling that here. And there wouldn't be an option to say insert an input, um, which then becomes frustrating for the user because they keep seeing email when really they, we don't have it. So you can just do an if statement here and say if the provider dot name is equal to email, just return. Otherwise, underneath, we're just going to return. And then inside of here, we're going to have a div that's going to hold the key. And the key is going to be provider dot name. And the button is going to be a variant here. So it's like just a standard outline button, similar to the style that they have for next auth. And we'll just say on click equal to a function here. And we're just going to do sign in, which is a built-in functionality for them, provider.id. And then inside the button, we'll just say sign in with provider.name. And then that will insert whichever one we have. And then we can hit save. And that's it. So now we can go ahead and test this out and make sure that it works correctly. But at this point, you're ready to use your custom page as you see fit. So I'll meet you on the other side where we're testing our new page. Okay, so here we are on our local host 3000 and we now have just the regular sign in button. And this is from the original crash course. So now when we hit sign in, we now have this custom looking page. We have a couple of different buttons down here and we could add things like, you know, the Twitter icon or the colors, or we could change this to add, uh, you know, a different kind of button or style it however you wish. So let's make sure this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in with GitHub. And because I've done this before, what should happen is I click the button and we should get redirected back to our original page. Great, and as you can see, we're now signed in with my email address and we can access the super secret pages. So let's make sure that works. And yes, that does work. Welcome to the secret page. This is a protected page. So if we go back and hit sign out, and hit sign in again. And let's test to make sure that our redirects work. So I'm going to sign in with GitHub. And then I'm going to go back and hit the sign in page. And see what happens. Immediately I get redirected back to the page. So we know that this person can only sign in once. And they won't get redirected to keep signing in. And at this point this is fully ready to go. And you have completed making a custom page with next auth. So there we have it guys, a fully custom next auth login page that you can style however you wish. Now if you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know what else you'd like to see in the next and Jamstack world. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you're subscribed as we release new videos every week. And we also live stream on Twitch twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, and the VODs go up the day after. Until next time, see ya!